Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about SQL views. Yeah. So first of all, let's try to understand why uh, views is required in database, right? So one of the important feature of RDBMS is the data abstraction. The data abstraction gives different view of the data to different users. All the information in the database need not be accessible to the all the users, right? Sometimes in an application or different view of the data or the information is desired and relevant data changes from user to user. This is handled in Oracle using views, right? So let's try to understand what is view now. Uh, here is the answer. A view is a virtual table in database. View can represent a subset of the data in a table. Uh, this could be a horizontal, uh, horizontal subject consisting of some of the rows from the uh, base table or, ver or vertical subset consisting of some of the column from the base table. This data from multiple tables can also be combined together using view. Means uh, you either you can create a view uh, using the vertical uh, subset means uh, you can select few columns or horizontal subset means you can select a few uh, basically rows. Uh, you can create a view by, uh, by selecting data from single table or multiple table as well, right? So this is just a virtual table. It's not an actual or physical table in database, right? Now, when we talk about the characteristics of a view, uh, views do not exist physically. Views are virtual tables that exist only as definition in the system catalog. Views are stored in the data dictionary in the table is called user underscore views. So if you have a lot of views in your database, you can query those views detail using uh, this table user underscore views. Yeah. Now let's discuss how we can create a view. So this is the basically general syntax to create a views. Here uh, syntax is something like the create or replace, right? Then you can specify a force, no force, then uh, you can specify a keyword is called view and then space view name. After that, as you can specify some your custom column name in column list, then you have to write the query, select query. Then uh, there are some optional things like with check option or uh, with read only, right? So here there is a meaning for each and every keyword. Here create means create a view with the name specified. When we talk about the or replace, right? Here you can see. This replaces the view if already exists. The, uh, this option is used to change the definition of an existing view, right? And then you have a force, right? Here you can see force. Force means creates a view uh, regardless of whether the view's base table exists or the owner has the privilege on, on them. But, uh, but to view the view, the owner must have the privilege, privilege and the base table must exist, right? Now we have a no force, right? So no force option basically uh, when you provide then it creates view uh, view only if base table exists and the owner has privilege on the on them. If you do not have privilege to create the view, you can't, right? This is the default option. Now we have a column list, right? Here column list specifies uh, column names uh, than their original names, right? If you do not specify column names, then view will be created with the uh, base table column names, like a base table column. Name. Uh, these new column names can be only used while referring the views. So while referring the views, you can uh, basically use uh, these column names if you specify some custom view then, right? So now apart from this, uh, of course, we'll go and explore these things practically, but there are some key points I would like to discuss before going for further uh, practical example. The views default column names are same as the table column names. These things you will have to keep in mind. New column names, if you specify in the create view clause, have to one to one relationship with the column names in the select clause of the query, right? If you specify some uh, custom column name, then there would be a one to one relationship, right? Now, the group by clause can be used in the definition of the view. Next, views may be joined or nested with other views or table, right? So you can create a simple views or joined view or nested views, right? You can create views from views as well. Now views may be used in the select statement while uh, defining other views. So these things you can uh, keep in mind. So if you uh, perform the select operation or joint query, you can 
join views along with the table as well right so these are the just theory let's go ahead and try to explore these things through an example let's say i'm going to create a very simple view first of all so i will try to create right view and you have to specify the view name so here currently in this database scott database i do not have any view right so let's say i would like to create a view uh, from this uh, table right in this employee table right employee table we have a data so when we create a view then using that view we can access the data as well right so i would say create view then you have to give the view name so i would give employee underscore view one right then what else then you have to give the keyword as and you have to write the select query so it's a select so if i do select a star from employee then this will basically uh, create a view with all the columns that will select all the columns from employee and with that name only view will be created but i i i would be selecting very few columns right so like e name then i would say uh e name then i would say salary i don't want to uh, uh select here e m e number means employee number e name and then let's say hire date right these are the attributes only i want to select from this table and would like to create the view so here i want to create the view with this name i want to select these are the columns from employee table that's it so very simple view right here also you can write create or replace so if this view is already creating uh, created then that will be replaced right so if i create this view then let's see how it works then table or view does not exist so create table then view name as select employee name employee hired it from employee i think there is uh, some uh table name problem wrong table name i had given now if i run then here you can say view employee underscore view one created if i go and replace refresh then here you can see view has been created and if i see then here you can see the uh, you can see the details of the view uh discussion of the view and here if i go to the this view then if you go to the data tab then here you can see the data has also been populated right so this is the basically way to create a view let's say how we can query the view so how you query the database table similar fashion you can basically uh, create a view so guys one thing i would like to tell you here view has been created with the here a column name you can see how is the column name in the source table with the same name view has been created but if you want to create the view with the different column name then here you can see uh, specify the different column name as well so here you will have to write the create view then view name and here you can specify the column name right like uh, employee uh, num un employee underscore number right then let's say employee underscore name then what else hire underscore date right so this is the custom name i have specified and uh, i would give the view to right so if i create then now i could give the custom name of the view so view has been created if you go and rephrase then here you can say if you look at the column name column name has been customized right so this is the a way to customize the column name as well now let's move ahead and see how we can query these views so how you query the basically your database table in similar fashion you can query the view you can write the join you can write the where clause group by everything so let's say i write very simple query select star from employee view one and if i query then i get the all the results from this here you can of course you can put the where clause and everything right so here you can see how easily we can create the view if you want to delete the view then uh, it's, it's easy to delete before that uh, when uh, we had discussed in the we were discussing the slide i told you these views you can uh, query right a query means you can see the views detail so there is a table in the database is called a uh, user underscore views right so you can query this uh, so basically views details uh, uh, ha has been maintained in the data 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 dictionary so these details you can see you can see select is e l e c t select a star from uh, user underscore view here you can see the all the views which is present in your scott connection 
it's got a schema you can see over here right all details now how you can delete the views so very simple how you drop the table so to drop the table you write drop table a table name to drop a view drop view then view name right so i would say this this view i would like to uh, drop right so easily you can drop now here is saying that view has been dropped if i rephrase that you will see the employee underscore views one will be dropped so let me rephrase then here you can see employee underscore view one has been gone away right so this was these were the only basic stuff we have explored in this video tutorial in next video series we will see all the detail about the views what are the advantages disadvantages and all how many types of views are there everything will be explored guys th thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial